job in this one, man. December 2013, I was traveling in a taxi from work. Ten minutes away from home, um, a group of men attacked the taxi that I was in. Unfortunately, this, the, the container was leaking. So we didn't know that it was leaking. So I took it out and then I went back again. By then I used the ma a matches. So it was just, it caught fire, the house caught fire. And then I, had to, I, was, I was burning. The taxi exploded when they shot the taxi engine. It exploded on my face, my legs, my arms. So I had to run outside. There was a big drum with water outside, fortunately. So I just threw myself in. And then by then, I couldn't feel any pain, any sort of a pain. But I could see my skin was peeling off. I was on fire. I was burned. And I tried to survive and as in jump out of the taxi because I was going to die. My eyes were closed, couldn't open. I was so scared. The first thing that came to my mind, it was how am I going to face my community? How am I going to face, you know, my friends, people who, who know me? See, that was the main devastating thing. I think your mind freezes. My mind freezed for, because I was in so much pain. I have to be strong for myself. I realized that I can't rely on other people. Because I think I was too depending on people. Now I'm on my own. I have to stand up on my own. At the moment, we're involved in an organization that is called National Pens Association. That is the organization that most deals with the rehabilitation of the pen survivors. So. We meet once in a while and then we encourage each other and then also we're trying by all means to recruit also the, the other band survivors out there and also people must know more about this organization because most of the time people who get banned they don't you know they don't meet with other band survivors they don't have the chance and then they don't know how to to start in fact to to have a group like this one. Uh, there's two main thrusts to the organization. The first, and I think probably most important, is public education uh, around the issues of burns and burns awareness and how to prevent these accidents from happening. And then secondly is interventions where we, we work with people that have already been burned. Uh, we into their emotional rehabilitation, support, school reintegration, uh, all those types of things that we Burn survivors need support uh, to readjust to their new lives. After um, I, I was in hospital, I reached out, I searched on the net for an organization because my psychologist encouraged me to join support groups. So I joined, um, I contacted Colin and Sharon from the National Burns Association, South Africa, and I met them. Um, first time I met the other people, the other burn survivors, they were very encouraging. Um, if you'd like any information post burn, you're more than welcome to contact the National Burn Association of South Africa, myself Colin Lee, uh, or Sharon Jones, our communications director. Probably the best way is to go onto our website www.nbasa.org.za all our contact details are there. You can read about the organization, um, see our history, what we've done in the past, and um, possibly how we can assist you in the future. No matter how hard it is, just learn to appreciate. I know it's not easy. It wasn't easy for me, because people would come in hospital and they would motivate me, tell me all these things, but I wouldn't really click. Until now, I can understand that, yeah, I, I think I had to go through that because now I have a level of understanding of pain and when someone's going through something, I can go to their level and understand. I wouldn't come with a lot of words and say, it's going to be all right, and, you know, I can, I don't know, there's, there's a certain motivation that I can give them. But I went through that. It will end, yeah. 
kept me going then I went to the university I enrolled there even though it was difficult also but I kept on studying so I'm a teacher now and everything is, is working out I was bent severely bent I couldn't use my hands but now I can so I will be able to type drive do everything, sing <laughs> if I want to, yeah.